That's a Pajero Generation 4, uh, made in 2008. I'll show you a couple of spots where you get rust. Uh, this was brought from Japan and maybe, maybe, maybe uh, it was uh, repaired after an accident, but uh, reports show that it never been involved in an accident. So I got it at about uh, 80 something thousand kilometers. So pretty uh, good shape. But, but, I'll show you a couple of uh, spots where you need to check for debris because these cars sit in a parking lot for some years or I don't know where they store it. Um, even they washed it nicely, I found uh, stuck dirt and uh, debris, like all sort of uh, dead leaves and the water uh, comes down through here and right here some stuff got stuck in so likely you can't get rid of it uh, through normal uh, washing even power washing this stuff uh, it's well hidden inside in here and the, the dirt once it gets right here it start clogging this area and so the water and the dirt will accumulate somewhere around here sometimes causing corrosion in this area according to what I see here this maybe was a old repair I don't know I don't think the Japanese manufacturer does something like that but in any case I can't return it then the water it goes down here not inside the engine compartment, it's behind the firewall, it's kind of inside the body uh, similar to Pajero generation 3 then it comes down behind this panel and it gets stuck the, the, the water is supposed to get out right here to drain through this area but look at what I found on the, on the inside same thing on the other side, on the, the other wheel. <laughs> so I found some debris got stuck here, like little leaves and stuff, and that keeps the dirt inside, but the thing is the dirt stays moist. So today is really hot day, I drove this car in a hot day, and this one was still uh, containing some moisture, and if the dirt gets stuck here with the moisture, it causes corrosion it, that's why uh, some people get corrosion that start eating the the panels from inside out and they don't know where I'll show you a few other spots in the other Pajero I had to use some uh, uh, pressure washer through here and get rid of the stuff that was getting stuck into that hole. Uh, like I said, that once the dirt gets stuck in this area, it causes some corrosion. So you see, see, dirt coming out. Of course, I did wash the car several times since I bought it. This area as well and of course underneath that's very common uh, in all the cars the dirt mud gets stuck here and start eating right here then uh, on my other Pajero I had a little uh, corrosion but at the bottom where the firewall com uh, meets the, uh, the wheel well uh, it's kind of a welding same thing on the other side. I painted with some black stuff. I have to add more of that stuff. Uh, but let me see if I can. Yeah, some some weld. And the water gets stuck in there with uh, debris, 
and it causes corrosion and it goes through the paint. So, and I had uh, to paint the, the, the old Pajero in that area, clean a little bit of that rust and uh, paint on top of it. But now I have to deal with uh, rust on this one, which is not bad, not bad compared to uh, American cars. Look at that, this is pretty good, in, a, in good shape for such an old car. In any case, uh, that's the point I was trying to make. Oh, uh, I want to show you something that I learned from a guy on the internet. <laughs> 